Hi, and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this quick tip for WooCommerce, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to deal with price increases or decreases. Now, if you're used to working with WooCommerce, you know you can easily go in and change the price by editing a product. But I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way of doing that across multiple products using either a fixed value or percentages. So, let's take a look at that in this quick tip right now. As always, if you'd like to help support this channel and what we do around you, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It doesn't cost you any more to purchase any of the software or plugins through these links, but what it does do is give a small percentage back to the channel. Anyway, let's move on and take a look at how we can start working and editing the pricing structure of our products in WooCommerce. Now you know that you can easily go in and edit a product and you can go in there and you can change the price or set the price in any way you want. That's a normal way of working. What you can also do is you can simply come in and click quick edit and you can go in there and you can adjust the price accordingly. That's great, but if you've got a lot of products, it can get quite time consuming and a little bit unwieldy. So there's a better way of working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a couple of products just by checking the boxes. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut to the top section or the bottom. We've got a mirror sort of section at the bottom. And we can simply click on there and say edit, then click apply. That now opens up all the parameters that we can change or edit for these two products or these selected products. So you can see we can go through, we can apply different product categories, comments, status, we can sort of publish and unpublish and so on. So there's a whole range of options in there. But what we're going to look at is how we can use the pricing option. So what we can do is we can click and choose the price drop down list and you can see we have three options in there. Change to, increase existing price by, or decrease ex existing price by. So what we're going to do first of all is we can take a look at change to. So if we wanted to change this to an arbitrary value, say for example we want to increase it from being £3 to £4, or we can click change to and then we can just enter the price value we want to apply to those products. That's great if they all have the same price. However, if you want to go one step further, we have more options available. So what we can do is we can increase existing product prices by a fixed amount or by a percentage. So we click on there, you can see the same boxes available below. What we can do now is we can use either a percentage value or we can use a fixed value. So let's just say, for example, we want to increase both those products by one pound. We can simply go in there and just add in one. So we're going to do that. Click update. And that will now increase the price of those products by one pound. So now it's gone from six pounds seventy-five and two pounds twenty-five respectively to seven seventy-five and three twenty-five. That's great if we want to increase it by a set value, but you may want to increase your price across the board by ten percent or fifteen percent, or you may want to cut it by that value. Well, we can do that too. So let's choose those same two products again. Come back up and choose edit and apply. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come down and choose the same option again, increase existing price, but this time we're going to use a percentage value. So what we're going to do is increase this now by 10%. So all we need to do is put the percentage that we want to increase them by. Hit update. And then once we take a look at the products, you can see now they've been increased in price by 10%. So that's pretty cool. We can do exactly the same in return. So select the two same products, come back up, edit and apply. And we're going to do this time is we're going to choose to decrease them by a set amount. So we're going to go in and let's just say, let's change those to 20%. Let's put a nice 20% discount on there. Hit the update option. Once we've done that, you can see now they've now been reduced by 20%. So very quick and easy way of going through multiple products. Now, the beauty of this method is we're not limited to only dealing with the actual price. We can also go in and if we have a sale item, we can go in and set a percentage value or an arbitrary value to that as well. So as an example, you can see I've got these two products that are already on sale. So what I do is select those two products, come up and again, edit and apply. You can see that brings up all the same options, but this time we're going to choose the sale drop down list. I'm going to click on there and you can see we now have some extra options for the sale price. Now the thing to note at this point is you have to have applied a sale price or sale value to the products. Otherwise, making changes in this to a product that doesn't have a sale price associated with it will make no difference whatsoever. You're not affecting a predefined sale price. So let's just say, for example, we want to decrease the existing sale price or increase the existing sale price. So let's just say I'm going to drop this down by an additional 10%. I'm feeling really generous. So what I'm going to do, go on there, choose 10%. And we're going to click on Update. And once we've done that, if we scroll down to those products, you can see they've now been dropped down by an additional 10%. So it's very quick and easy to go in and make updates to your pricing structure or your sale price structure 
So that's how easy it is to go in and make adjustments to your sale prices or your fixed prices inside WooCommerce using this really quick method. Well, I hope you found this tip useful. If you have, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe option to make sure you get notified when we do add new content. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel or anything you'd like to see covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.